Hey there, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what we're going to be accomplishing this week in science class because it all fits together, but yet it's all eventually going to be due on one day and that is next Monday. So here is the general idea. We have already studied about the reindeer of St. Matthew Island and we did lots of things with the reindeer of St. Matthew Island. We looked at carrying capacity, we looked at overpopulation, we looked at the use of resources and how that affects organisms. And the students have already walked through the process of handwriting a graph that is charting the population growth and decline of the reindeer. They've already done a digital version of that in Google Sheets. They did a claim evidence reasoning rough draft, and then they did a final paragraph that was typed in Google Docs. So this week, we will be doing the exact same four things, only we will be doing it with a new story on the Kaibab, Kaibab deer. It's a mule deer that lives in Arizona, and every student has received a packet like this. It has a simple story, the story talks about um, how President Theodore Roosevelt created a Grand Canyon National Game Preserve to protect this particular population of deer in the early 1900s. And then it talks about what he did to try to control the population because he wanted the population to grow. So the question for this week is, was President Roosevelt's plan to protect the Kaibab deer successful? So over this week, students will need to chart all of the data in a line graph format right here in this packet. That's something they should be able to do independently. Then they will take this, this data table and they will put it in Google Sheets and they will uh, create a digital version of it. And then they will answer this question using the claim evidence reasoning template. So this will be like the rough draft where they have to be reminded and they, they can either use this, although this is really not enough space to tell you the truth, but I will also be encouraging them to use a digital version of this, which will be found on my webpage. So I will be having them all go there to open it up, to make a copy and to actually type right in here so that all they have to do is copy and paste it into their final paragraph once this is complete. So the process and the steps are going to be the same. Now in the assignment notebook, you'll notice that there are different sort of like due dates for different parts of this big project. And the truth is I'm not actually grading all of it until I receive it as one big submitted project next Monday. So I have smaller deadlines that have been put on, in the assignment notebook that we will be working towards as a class. So for example, um, on Monday night, students should have completed this graph. And then they will come back into class and they will work with a partner the entire class period. And their goal will be to actually come up with their claim, their evidence from their reading and their reasoning. And that will be their goal for tomorrow. And then the next day, they'll be creating the digital version of the graph in Google Sheets. And then Thursday, they will be typing this information as a paragraph and peer editing it. And then Friday, if they do have class, then uh, because we will have the play, they will have extra time to kind of go back to anything that they missed and to get everything ready to go to be uploaded to Seesaw. So they'll have time to take pictures of everything, get everything exactly the way it needs to be, that all the formatting is correct. We'll review all the formatting for a paragraph and what it should look like. I've got a half sheet of formatting instructions for every Google paragraph that they submit. And then they'll submit it to me in Seesaw. So that's where I will grade everything. All right, so I just wanted you to have a heads up. That's why we have smaller deadlines to, uh, kind of broken up for everybody. Um, but we're not actually going to grade day by day by day. So this will be kind of like one big project that they submit um, at the end of this week on Friday. So it was officially everything is due on Monday. All right. That's it for the Kaibab, dear. Enjoy.